a first step in searching for your data set is to go to Google's data set search, which is this website, data, datasetsearch.research.google.com. You can search on virtually any topic here. The example I want to do involves irises, so that's what I'm going to search for. So we're going to do an example where we can identify irises based on their their dimensions. And here you, we see the first one that pops up is this iris species on Kaggle. And Kaggle is another really good website for looking for data sets. You'll see there's a description about the data set. And at the bottom, there are the pieces of information that are provided about the irises. I'm going to click on the Explore at Kaggle button. And here it is. And we notice that it's iris.csv. So a CSV is a comma separated value file, which is really a spreadsheet and can be opened in something like Excel or Google Sheets. And again, here's more of an explanation here. So you can learn about it. And then I'm going to go up here to the download button. And it downloads a zip file. Now on a Mac, you can just double click a zip file. I believe you should be able to do the same thing with Windows. If you're unable to open it, you probably want to Google something like a zip extractor and download one of these files to be able to extract it. So what a zip file is, is just a compressed version of all your files. It will decompress to this archive folder. And it's given us two different files, but this is the one that we want, iris.csv. The CSV file is a, a file that can be opened with Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, you can do this in Google Drive uh, as a Google Sheet. And what I'll do is I'll drop this in, upload it, and I'm going to say open with Google Sheets. This is what our data set looks like. We've got sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. And then next to it, the species. And if we scroll down, we see under the species that we've got three different types of irises. So we've got iris virginica, iris versicolor, and iris setosa. What we're going to focus on are these four columns, the sepal length and width and the petal length and width. Let's look at what these mean. So here is a picture of what we're talking about in the data set. So we've got the petal, which has a length and width. So these were measured on different flowers. And then we've also got this sepal. Okay, and that generally, if you look on this one, is larger than the petal. So the sepal also has a length and width. So going back to our Google Sheets, we can see now we have sepal length in centimeters, sepal width, petal length, and petal width and then the associated type of iris is under the species. What we're going to do is in machine learning for kids, we're gonna create a training set based upon these four pieces of information. And what we're gonna do is try to identify from that information or predict which kind of iris it is. Is it gonna be the iris setosa, the iris versicolor, or the iris virginica.